Hey everybody. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Over Healing Guidance and Tarot. Feeling pulled to do a twin flame reading? So maybe that's why the energy seem a little rusted. Like a, a little stuck, a little blocked. I'm being told that we need to learn how to let go, okay? We need to learn how to let go. First card out is the lover's energy, okay? Really, really good. Lover's energy, divine partnership. The moon card in reverse, okay? We have to face our fears, all right? Face our deepest, darkest fears here when it comes to love, when it comes to the person that we love, okay? Five of Swords. I feel like with us learning how to let go, we in fact end up winning, okay? It's not a game. It's not a competition. But I feel like you get the desired result. So as long as you learn how to let go. This could be learning how to be vulnerable, okay? Allowing yourself to be vulnerable within your connection, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse, okay? I'm getting lack of communication here, okay? Or lack of honesty. So once again, bringing us back to the vulnerability, okay? Perhaps holding back from the person that you love because you're afraid to put yourself all the way out there, okay? Or this is how you feel they're doing. You feel like they're holding themselves back, okay? But remember, you can't force a person to do something, and your twin flame is your mirror. So if you're being 1,000% vulnerable, all right, and you're taking that risk, taking that chance, they'll mirror you. But you also have to remember you can't be so focused on getting their attention or so focused on having them, you know, controlling them. You have to learn how to let go. Okay. We have the sun card in reverse. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like some of you feel very, very sad right now. However, with the Ten of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck, Spirit is trying to guide you to, like I said, let go, go with the flow, be at ease, relax a little bit, okay? Because I feel like you can be happy here, but someone out there or whoever I'm talking to, it's like you, sometimes you're your own worst enemy. You think the worst of the situation or you point out the flaws of the connection, and that brings forth more flaws that you realize or that you notice. I'm also feeling, too, that you're noticing and realizing a lot more about yourself than you ever did, which is something that the Twin Flame Connection does. You know, it highlights a lot of things within you, okay? Remember, someone is playing the role of your mirror. So it's highlighting a lot of things about yourself that potentially you didn't notice before. Okay? We have the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Emperor in reverse, okay? So I feel like, yeah, some of you, you've met your twin flame, but perhaps you're like stuck on thinking about um, worldly or earthly things like marriage, okay? So you're like, I really want to marry this person. Or I really want to get married. I wonder if this is the person. I wonder if we're going to get married. When are we going to get married? What's going on in our connection? It's like you're obsessing in some ways about what's happening inside of the connection, so I feel like that's putting off your desired result even more than just allowing it to happen. We got the four of cups here, okay? So I feel like the same old, same old is getting old, okay? Like you're, you're growing tired of waiting, but at the same time, it's like just trust the process. And that could have something to do with why you won't allow yourself to be vulnerable as well because perhaps you're doubting that things are going to go in the direction that you want them to go in, okay? That's what it feels like. We got the moon here and then the high priestess. Yeah. So you're going to discover a lot of truths about yourself, about your partner, about your connection with the moon in reverse and the high priestess in reverse. Then we have judgment here. So then you'll be questioning your decisions when it comes to this person or when it comes to this connection. Five of swords. Five of swords here, please. We have the ace of pentacles here in reverse and the wheel of fortune. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like as long as you learn how to let go, okay, let go of physical expectations or expectations, period, 
then things can progress. Things can move forward with the Wheel of Fortune here. All right. We have the Five of Wands in reverse. I feel like you just need to stop fighting it, whether that be yourself, your partner, or your connection. All right. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. We got justice in reverse. Yeah, so that you can stop repeating the karmic cycle and move towards your desired result. Okay. Sun card. Sun card, please, spirit. Okay. We have the Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, stop fighting it. Whether, like I said, that's yourself, the connection, whatever. Continue to invest with the Seven of Pentacles. Whether that be invest into the partner, invest into your spiritual evolution, or invest into the connection. Remember, so as long as you're investing into yourself, you're investing into your partner and your connection, okay? When you want results within your connection, you want to see some type of changes or progression, the best way to bring that forth is by focusing on your own evolution, your own growth, your own well-being, and watch it be mirrored back to you, okay? And then we have the Hermit Energy in reverse. Stop hiding, stop running. We got the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck, okay? You're meant to be close with your uh your twin flame you're meant to be connected with your twin flame stop trying to run from the connection stop trying to cut off communication here all right that's what i'm seeing seven of pentacles ace of wands queen of pentacles two of cups i feel like this person worships you with this queen of pentacles energy okay they worship you worship the ground that you walk on all right they really just want for you to be patient okay as in your spirit team just wants for you to be patient and like once again with this ace of wands energy here it's a lot of passion between the two of you but i feel like your heart aches for them so that has a lot to do with why you're losing your patience or why you're so impatient all right ace of swords energy in reverse please spirit ace of swords in reverse All right, we got the nine of swords. Yeah, because you're stuck in your mind about it. Get outside of your mind about it. All right, stop trying to block the person. Stop trying to block the connection. Learn how to be vulnerable, okay? <clears throat> Speak your truth. Be upfront and honest and open, and you'll see the same thing mirrored and reflected back to you. If this was your message or you enjoyed the message, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please do go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.